What's going on YouTube Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today I got five more tweaks for you guys to check out. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so this first tweak I have for you guys is called Glow. It's an awesome tweak by an awesome developer. He's the creator of Callbar XS, Bioprotect, Answering Machine. This guy is just a mad genius when it comes to tweak development. He has created this tweak called Glow. It's kind of an always on display, except it will dim out or time out so that it doesn't waste any unnecessary battery. So basically after you lock your device, it'll automatically go into Glow mode. It'll show you the time and your battery information. It'll also show you your notifications. Let's go ahead and test out the notification feature. All right, we got a notification coming in. You can see that it's green. It takes the green from the messaging. All right, so as you can see, I got a notification from Reddit. It will take the colors from the app icon itself and make a glow effect that goes around the frame of the device. All right, so now as you can see, I got another notification. And now it's combining all of the colors of all of the applications. It has a greenish white look to it. It basically just takes the colors of all of your current notifications and combines them into, into kind of a notification. So if we hop into the settings of this tweet, you can see that you can customize the glow frequency, the glow colors. You can adjust the time, opacity, the date, the battery charging information. You can adjust the timeout. So I just have it set for a minute. There are a couple stock presets that the developer has added so that you can go ahead and kind of get an idea for what you want your device to look like. So if we go over to time, we can go ahead and adjust the color and the font, also the time format. And there are just an absolute ton of fonts. So there's a ton of customization that you can do. You can show the battery indicator. You can also customize it and make it your own. You can make your own presets and then save them. You can adjust how many notifications that you want. I went ahead and made the icon bigger, a little bit more bold so that you can see it. Anyways, guys, go ahead and check out this tweak. It's called Glow. This next tweak I have for you is called Titan, and this tweak is absolutely awesome. It basically brings picture-in-picture -picture mode. Now, I know there is a free tweak called UPIP that does work on YouTube and Safari. However, Titan will work on multiple different applications such as Netflix or Amazon Prime or pretty much any application that plays video, Titan will work on. So if we go ahead and test it out over on Netflix real quick. So if we start playing The Office and I swipe home, you can see that I am now using Netflix on my device and I can just go ahead and watch Netflix while I am using my device. Like I said before, this tweak is called Titan. Super useful tweak if you're trying to watch Netflix using picture in picture. All right, this next tweak is really awesome. It kind of reminds me of the Galaxy Note series because it has a very similar feature. So if we go ahead and take a screenshot. So if we go ahead and take a screenshot, you'll notice that a little line of text comes down here it allows you to draw on the screen what exactly you want to screenshot so say we just want to take a picture of this square right here so if we go ahead and double tap to confirm it that square is now on our device so i can go into say the notes application and write down what this says you can go ahead and do that but another great thing about this tweak is you can drag it and if you scroll down to right here, it says copy text in image. So it will actually copy the text that it sees in this image to your clipboard so that you can go ahead and paste it. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. It has now copied it. So if I go ahead and try to paste, you'll see that it has pasted the text that it detected in that image. So a good use case for this would be Instagram because on Instagram for some reason you cannot copy the text. So if you want to quickly just copy the text to your clipboard, we'll go ahead and set the dot right there. Scroll it over. Make sure you get all the text right there. Double tap to confirm it. Now we have it confirmed. Now we can go into the notes app and copy the text ourselves, or you can just go ahead and drag it down and copy it to the clipboard or you can save it to your photos. 
or you can do more options. More options will just pull up the share sheet so you can go ahead and airdrop it, send in messages or whatever you need to do with it. If we go back to the settings of this tweak, there's a couple settings that you can configure. So you can go ahead and set an activator method now, if you push volume up and power, you'll notice the text down here says, if you want to take a screenshot, just go ahead and push it again. And now it'll screenshot the device, the stock feature way. It also keeps a history of things that you have screenshotted. Well, if you do need to come back and see something, you can go ahead and bring it back to the screen and move it around again. Anyways, guys, that one is called Snapper 2. Great tweak. It is paid, I believe it's $2.99. All right, this next tweak is a super simple tweak called Roadrunner. It does give you a 10 day trial and then I believe it's 99 cents. All right, now that we have the video playing, we'll go ahead and leave it running in the background. If we go over to Roadrunner and respring the device, you'll notice that it still plays. You can still hear the audio even though the device is respringing. You'll notice that the media sheet has been pulled up on the lock screen. And we can go right back into the video like we never resprung the device. This also works on your music application. So if we head over to Spotify and start listening to Hype Dimension by Beastman, you can go ahead and push play. We'll go over and respring the device. So go over to Roadrunner, tab respring. You'll notice that the music is still playing, even though the device is still respringing. So it's a very useful tweak if you want to go ahead and apply different themes or apply different tweaks on your device without interrupting your music or your video. Anyways, guys, that one is called Roadrunner. We head over to the settings of that tweak. There are a couple whitelist and blacklist options that you can choose specific apps for. But anyways, guys, it gives you a 10 day free trial, so you might as well try it. All right, this next tweak I got for you is called Mavellery. Ma Mavellery. Mavellery. Not sure how to pronounce it. Anyways, guys, this is a free alternative to Springtimize. It does not have as many features as Springtimize does, but if you don't feel like paying the $4.99 for Springtimize, you can go ahead and download this tweak. It does give you some customization, and the best part about it, it is 100% free. I'm sure the developer is going to go ahead and update this tweak with more and more features. However, I know a lot of you like Springtimize 5, but don't want to pay the $5. So you guys should go ahead and check out this tweak. All right, guys, if you guys made it this far in the video, I'm going to show you guys what icons I am using on my home screen, because I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of comments asking what icons I'm using. The icons I'm using currently are RTX OS. It, they are pretty legit icons. They are all kind of 3D. So go ahead and check them out. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you go ahead and enter that giveaway. Don't forget to feed the YouTube algorithm those like buttons, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.